This is the walkthrough video for PCTC 2023 round one senior question for Sparrow Word. So we're given an input word and we essentially just want to display it in this format um, as we see up here. And so let's just take in our word um, and we're going to do this like the pretty standard boring way, but like it's quickest to write out. So let's do it this way. And so what do we want to print off? We want to print off um, the first three characters of word. So we can actually just do um, something like that. Um, but this is going to like take a while, Well, it's not going to take a while, it's going to take like five extra seconds. But if you can say those five seconds, you might as well say those five seconds. And so we can string slice it by doing this. And that just prints off the first three characters, um, which is good because we only want the first three characters on the first line. Now for the next line, we want characters eight, nine, and four. Um, and so we can deal with the eight and the nine at once because we want index seven until the end of the word because the word is only nine characters long. And then um, we want uh, index four. Uh, sorry, we know we want number four, which can be index three. Because remember, Python zero indexes, whereas all of these numbers are in like human indexes. And so those are our first two rows done. Now, our final row is going to be seven, six, five. Um, and so I guess this is kind of unnecessary, but we're starting at um, index six. Again, remember it's Python. And we're ending at index um, four. But because it's Python, we need to go one further. So we're ending at index three effectively. So I because this is non-inclusive, right? It's going to go from six down to four, not six down to three. Um, and we want to make sure we go downwards. So let's add in the minus one parameter there. Um, and the only issue we'll fit now face is that there will automatically be a space added between these two um, things. So let's just change that comma to a plus. And if you run that code, hopefully it works. I mean, this is obviously just a slightly fancier way of solving this problem. You could just very well have um, done it the way I showed you right at the start.